Welcome back, it's Nine, and today we have a big video for you guys regarding PS5 features that were discovered in the PS Store's source code. We're also going over some confirmed features with backwards compatibility and PS5 boost mode. We're going over game sharing still being a thing, and lastly, we're going over cross-gen party chat between PS4 and PS5 users. Now, before we get into that, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos and hit the like button it helps the channel a ton now let's get right into it starting with this article that comes from pushsquare.com titled new ps5 features discovered in ps stores source code First and foremost, it looks like Wishlist will finally be integrated into the console as there's a line of code that states your Wishlist isn't available on this website. You can find it on a PS5. In addition, it looks like you'll be able to create parties with up to 100 people and share music playlists with pals. There's also reference to something called a takedown, but we're not sure what this entails yet. That's insane. Okay, first of all, 100 people party chat why why would you want that number one that, that would be hectic i can't imagine having a hundred people talking in a party chat that's crazy but it's really cool that it's an option i mean i, I imagine you know starting a party chat having a 99 of you guys come in there and we all discuss things it'd just be hectic i can't imagine we would be be hearing or saying anything worthwhile with that many people in a party chat but that is so cool that we could have that and this is something that i've been asking for for a long time not the 100 people but the wish list why aren't we able to do wish list on the playstation 4 you know so finally that's happening and i'm hoping that maybe we eventually even get gifting as for the takedown thing I have no idea what that could possibly refer to. But on to our next topic, and this one comes from PSU.com, titled New PS5 Backwards Compatibility Details Revealed Along with Reconfirming a PS5 Boost Mode. The source code which was posted on Reddit lists the following information about what will happen when a PS4 game isn't supported on PS5. It says playing PS4 games on PS5, some functionalities available on PS4 may not be available. See PlayStation.com slash PS5 backwards compatibility for more details. And then it says this PS4 game isn't supported with your PS5's current system software. We're continuing to make more PS4 games playable on PS5. Update your PS5 and then try playing the game again. And the last one says PS5 boost mode enabled. So we've had a lot of questions about backwards compatibility. You know, we, we've had it all pretty much confirmed that uh, we're not getting 1, 2, and 3 backwards compatibility natively. We are going to get, you know, PS4 for the most part, 99% of games, which is a lot of games, guys. That's the majority. And then, of course, they're going to try to make it 100% of games. But it is cool to see that they are going to uh implement these different things so that they're not going to just pretend that it doesn't exist that if a game does does not get supported right they're going to tell you hey go to this website for more information and we'll also have that boost mode enabled as well so i think it would support basically what would be the ps4 pro uh, boost mode uh just in effect for the ps5 on to our next topic and this comes from psu.com as well titled ps5 game sharing appears to work similar to ps4 thanks to the console sharing feature. It says if the console sharing and offline play setting is enabled for your PS5, players aged 18 plus who aren't PS Now subscribers will be able to play PS Now games from the game's shortcut icon displayed on the PS5 home screen as well as in the PS Now app. So this is something that you know surprises me a little bit actually to see that there's going to be a shortcut for PS Now. So are they going to then implement PS Now even deeper ingrained into the PS5? And I think the answer to this is yes, because, well, we know for a fact that they do have this service and cloud streaming is becoming more and more prevalent, although not the preferred way of gaming. It still is important. And, you know, Sony being the first one to jump into that space, they definitely do want to take advantage of this and they do want to, you know, put their subscription service out there. And it would be even cooler if this gets bundled with PS Plus in some way, shape, or form. Not for the same price that we're paying now, but for a little bit more, and you also get PS Now as well for those that would want that. Uh, as for the console sharing and offline play, I think it's awesome that they're still going to support that game sharing in a sense where you need to buy one license and then you can share it across multiple consoles. Uh, I think that's something that I've taken advantage of multiple times with a friend, and it'd be cool to continue to be doing that over on the PS5. So I'm happy to see that that will be supported. 
on to our next topic, and this comes from PSU.com as well, and it's titled Cross-Gen Party Chat Between PS4 and PS5 Users Will Be Available Once the PlayStation 5 Launches in November. In a recent leak of source code from Reddit, it is seemingly being confirmed that Cross-Gen Party Chat will be available between PS5 and PS4 players once the PS5 launches in November around the world. The specific blurb says, message and voice chat with friends across PS4, PS5, and PlayStation app. So I'm quite happy to see that we won't have to wait for this to get implemented. If you guys remember, with the PS4 and the Xbox One generation, it almost felt like we took a couple steps back because we had to wait for things to get implemented uh, over time. It wasn't like everything that you could do on your PS3 and your Xbox 360 automatically carried over to next gen. It just it, it wasn't a feature set that fully carried over. Very disappointing, but I'm just glad that that's not happening again. So this will be cool because I'm sure a lot of people want to still be in communication with their friends. And I know a lot of my friends are not getting next-gen consoles in the first year, maybe not the first two years, maybe not even in the first three years. So it'd be cool to still be able to do party chat, even if we can't play specific games together, because I'm sure eventually support for that system will die out. Uh, and I also do notice the whole PlayStation app thing. I wonder if that goes with voice chat. Um, I know that messaging is a thing for the PlayStation app, but if we could do party chat in the PlayStation app, Damn, that would be awesome. I know the Xbox, the Xbox app does support that. I think that's great. Uh, PlayStation app supporting that would be even better. I know that I've been in circumstances where, you know, that would come in handy. Although rare still would be awesome. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who would appreciate that as well. So this is quite a bit of information that we've got revealed to us today uh, through source code. And it's incredible to see just how much they are not only just sticking with the things that they've been doing with the PS4 in a good way, they're also bringing in new things with next gen. You know, 100 party chat, you know, groups are, are definitely not my thing, but I think it's great to have that as an availability and just showing how much further the PS5 can go because I'm so excited to truly witness the greatness that is the PS5. I do want to also point out that I did see the Spider-Man footage. I did see the whole Spider-Man situation going on we'll talk about that in a different video but for now i just wanted to talk about the playstation 5 and what's going on with all these new features which i'm very excited about i want to pass this on to you guys and i want to ask you number one what do you think of these new features right with the ps store you know the wish list and all this other stuff that's getting implemented how do you feel about backwards compatibility being supported on the ps5 from four ps4 games and what do you think of game sharing still being a thing, as well as the implementation of PS Now uh, on the home screen? Do you think that that's going to be deeper ingrained than we've ever seen before? And lastly, what do you think of this cross-gen party chat between PS4, PS5, and the 100 uh, member party chats that you can possibly have? Let me know in the comments. As always, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos. Hit the like button. It helps the channel a ton. Follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description. And lastly, share this video with a friend. I will talk to you all on the next one. Take care. You see, stereophonic sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended